So coach here, I just thought I would pop a video on showing you exactly how to upload a soap product to the cosmetics notification um, portal. I know that a lot of people find it difficult, they find it quite complicated and to be honest I agree it's not very user friendly. I'm told the new UK version will be a lot more straightforward but obviously that remains to be seen. Um, this will not show you how to create an EU login and nor will it show you how to define yourself as an organisation on the SAAS part of this. That is quite straightforward and I will pop the links in the blog that I put this on. Um, but, but in a nutshell, you create your EU login, then you wait for a verification email. That gives you a link to then define yourself on the SAAS. You do that. Then you again wait for another email to come back verifying you and then that will have a link in it which will take you to access the portal um, and you'll need to log in um, once you've done that it will bring you to this screen here um, once you're on this page you need to you what we're doing is actually notifying your product so and that's part of the legislation that you need to comply with for cosmetics and soap is a cosmetic technically um, so we're going to notify our product and soap is a single component product. So click on that. Um, that will bring you to this screen here. OK, and I'll just talk you through it step by step. Um, industry reference for a small business like myself, that's not, not necessary. Product name, this is what you will be putting on the label uh, in effect. So for me, it's my, my new anti-microbial soap. Shades is not applicable for myself. Um, and because it's just a plain, plain soap, and it's not intended for children under the age of three specifically. Now, this has already been pre filled because I've logged on, so it has my information already, um, but it won't have contact person as yet. So, uh, because I've not yet uploaded any products, so I will do that now, and that will be me. And this is my workshop address. Oh, even in my own address. Great. Cranford Street. Um, UK. And then email. Okay, so that bit's pretty straightforward. It says I already exist. I think that's because I did it earlier. Okay, my mistake. Contact person, there I am, look. But at least it shows you how to do it yourself. Okay, it's product. Not that part's not relevant. Um, no, it's not imported. No end date required. And I am from England. United Kingdom, it will be on here. There we go. Okay, so that is the front part done. Now we need to go on to product details, which is probably the bit which catches everybody out. Okay, so my soap does not contain any of these horrible looking ingredients. Oops, sorry. So now we want to do no on that. I don't have any nano materials, so I can ignore that bit. But category and frame formulation. Uh, and you need to select from the drop down menus. So, soap is a skin product, it's a skin cleansing product, and it is a soap product. And physical form is a solid for soap, solid pressed powder. And it's not presented in any particular special applicator or packaging, so that's a no. Okay, formulation name is toilet soap and notification type for um, small businesses with specific recipes. The easiest option is to go for exact concentrations. Now that will be given to you by your assessor. Um, so it's very easy then to obtain the information. It also needs to be um, provided in the uh, using the INSEE terms. 
so the, the technical uh, terminology, but that also is on your uh, assessment that you get from your assessor. Now, what I do is I use the snipping tool to um, literally cut a snip of the relevant part from my assessment. And I've already done that. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to upload that snip as a document. So then they have all the information they need. It says here, no handwritten formulation can be submitted, only clear and legible electronic text. Um, which mine will be. So I'm going to choose a file. Um, and I've already got it here as a SNP, antimicrobial soap. And I'm going to come back to that in a moment to show you what it looks like. So I'll just do that now. Okay. So this is exactly how it comes from my assess assessor. Um, so I have literally used the snipping tool to snip the relevant part, and that is the far by, by far the easiest way to do it. So I'll just go back to my screen. So I've uploaded that document there. I don't need to put anything else in this box. However, my understanding is that if you are selling products, the same product, but in multiple sizes, you would upload the main details of your main product, probably the largest size, but if you sold it in, for example, 50 gram sizes as well, you could put a small amount of information in here to say that you also sell 50 gram bars. Um, but otherwise, you don't need to put anything else in there. Um, so we've, we've done that part and we're now on to original labeling and packaging. There's two parts to this. Uh, one is the label and one is the packaging. Now, labelling, if you're anything like me, you will either have a printer who will have sent you a, a PDF or a JPEG um, for your label for proofing. Um, so I've converted mine into a PDF and i am saved that. So I'm going to upload that now. Um, you can either do text or images of your label but obviously if you've got pictures on your label you can't do the text so the by far the easiest option is to do your image so i've got it saved here as um, a pdf so I'll select that and upload it and that's done i'm just going to pop back to the document and show you exactly what mine looks like This, does, this tends to take quite a while for some reason, the saving part. Okay, so I've just uploaded this PDF label here. Okay, so that is quite literally a picture of my label and that will be sufficient for that part. Okay, um, the other part is the packaging, which is a photograph. Um, you don't need to put text in as well if you've uploaded an image. Original packaging, that is with my label on my soap. So again, I'm going to upload a picture. Um, and I've got a picture here. And save. Okay. Uh, that is quite literally it. So that is one simple soap that's been uploaded. Okay. Um, once you've done it, you literally press notify it will tell you if you've missed any boxes so nano materials I haven't put anything in there so I think I have to put a negative yeah I do so that's a no so I can go back to notify um, once you have notified you won't get any confirmation or email that it has gone on um, so it really is your responsibility to make sure that you have done it properly and it's all correct. Um, and that is your final screen. Okay.
Um, you can get a PDF download of it. Uh, so here, for example, this gives me details of everything that I've done. I can do a PDF, uh, which you can then save to your PIF files if you want to. All right. So then if you um, need to show it for any reason to anybody, you can prove that you've done it. Um, but obviously you can go in any time and amend it if you want to. If you do make an amendment, it will ask you why you've done it. But it's not a problem. You don't need to reload the whole um, item. And then what I'm going to do is save that. Save as. And it's got your reference number and everything on it, so it is helpful. So C P um, N P Music Coach Anti Soap. Oops, can't spell. And that is it. That is a very simple um, example. Um, shades is colouring, so I don't have um, multiple colours in this, but if you were, for example, going to colour it with yellow clay and black swirls, you would need to put that in there just as a description of what your soap will look like. What I would say is try not to be too specific on there. You could say black and yellow. Um, and it would give you black and yellow pattern. It would give you a bit more scope to change the pattern if you wanted to. So if you wanted to do drop swirls in, in one day and I don't know, stripes maybe, if you just say black and yellow, then it, you have more option on how you um, can make your soap. Um, so it's, it's a case of being specific, but not to the nth degree. Anyway, I hope that's helped. I hope that's made sense. If you've got any questions at all, just um, drop me an email and I'll do my best to help. Um, but yeah, so that's the portal.